see if I love you, mommy. I'm the vet, I, I love myself. I love you, mommy. <laughs> Hey guys, and my name is Jesse. What you doing? What's going on? Did you like me in the Insta song? I want a PlayStation for my birthday and a Santa Claus toy for my birthday. And guess what I want for my birthday? Candy toys. I want an Xbox Free Pass. I'm saying my words. I love my mommy. I love my sister and I really love when she's my friend. What's up you guys? So I woke up early. I'm on my way to tour a house and I'm so excited because first of all, I just love touring houses and apartments anyway, but this one is gonna be, um, they're letting us do like a self-guided tour, no agent, which I've never done before. And I just love the thought of not having anybody in there. Like I can look at it myself. But anyway, um, I know I said that I, that I wanted to move back to LA which I still do but it's just so much going on I'm starting to feel like maybe there's a chance I might end up staying where I'm at and if that's the case I definitely want to get a nicer house nicer area just nicer everything nicer kitchen that's my number one a second bathroom um but the nice thing about staying where I'm at is it's I can do all that in this city whereas in LA I'd be making sacrifices for what i want because it's so expensive out there so i'm about to go see like what i could get within my budget if i just stay here so long story short i work well okay the industry that i came from before i had before i left la was production i work behind the scenes of movies and tv shows like way behind the scenes not nothing in front of the camera but um, yeah, so if you know about the whole shutdown right now, the whole industry is down, nobody has jobs, no one's working, they're not taking on new hires for anything, which is what I would have been. I left the industry when I got pregnant with job because my job was so demanding and I knew it just wouldn't work. I came back here to be closer to family, which ended up being a really smart idea. It really does take a village in. I don't know, I feel like my life would be a lot more stressful if I didn't leave when I did, but now I'm at a place where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go back. My kids will both be in school. And I was all set up to go back in, oh, this month actually. And the shutdown happened last month. And now they're like, they don't know anything. They're back in negotiations. It's not working, whatever. So it's like really completely up in the air now when i'll be able to come back and it's like i i want a new space i want to move i want a fresh start so i'm just starting to become more trying to get myself used to the idea of not being able to move but a new house will make it better though okay so let's go see it's all brand new um I've never lived in a brand new const like construction like this, but I don't like how everything's far away. It is kind of far away. Okay, so here's what sold me on this house and made me like, I have to see this house, the kitchen. I think this is, this is like my perfect kitchen. Very modern and not too girly. A big island, I've never had an island. One of my alter egos is to be a real estate agent. And here we have the cabinets, and they open, and you can put things in them like dishes, all no appliances, have to buy a refrigerator, but that's okay. Um, not a designated dining room area. That's really the only thing I didn't like about the house, but you could put a table right here. Really tiny backyard, but it looks like they're putting, um, they're gonna put more cement down, so we might get like a pergola thing, is you look where they're going? Right here. Really tiny yard though, for kind of a big house. The master bedroom. First, let's look in this closet. It's a really big, deep closet. <gasps> the pantry. Oh, shit, it is. Because <laughs> it's right next to the 
kid. Oh, master bed, it's a little small, but that's okay. When I was looking at the pictures, I was like, you'll see later. We don't even need to use this as a master bedroom, even though it is the master. I was actually thinking of turning this into a bedroom for both the kids. Um, like try to, I want them to still feel like they have their own separate spaces. So I would decorate it in a way to where this kind of ends up being two rooms and then they get, but this would still be my bathroom. This wouldn't even be my closet, but. The kids would love it. Yeah. It's like a playroom too. They could play in here. Oh my God. This, this literally could be a second bedroom. Like my daughter. I could turn this into my daughter's little playroom with a little bed, honestly, since they're sharing the space anyway. This is a nice size closet. I love a closet with like some a space for shoes. Okay, the bathroom. This is still gonna be my bathroom, even though it would be the kids' room. <sighs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. Dress is all messed up. This girl. Okay. <laughs> but I've never had double sinks. <laughs> and oh, another dead. Another dead. Co no, I think it's a grasshopper. Oh, yeah. It's a grasshopper. Look at this mirror. I don't know if you guys can tell. This mirror is huge. There is so much space in this bathroom. The song has been stuck in my head and it was in my dream all night. Um, real bitch, I'm gonna see what I <laughs> And I don't know why that just popped in my head right now. My head. It's the vibes. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like the kids don't, like, I get the kids That's ready. They don't, yeah. I get them ready, they don't get themselves ready. So this could still be my bathroom. <gasps> and come through here. This is what really sold me after the kitchen. This is what sold me. This house has an in-law suite. So here's the entrance. And I was thinking this is what I would turn into my room. Um, so first you get a little bathroom. It would probably just be my husband's bathroom. It has this, oh, I love those things to sit on. And then... To the right, you have a room. Now remember, we came through this door. There's the so, kitchen. Yeah, so you have your private door, and then you Bathroom. have a room in the room. <laughs> so this, you guys, imagine if I turn this room into a closet, right? Wall-to-wall -wall clothes, and then one of the walls, like this wall, I would make just uh, my office area. Because I'll be staying with the same job I'm at now, so I would be working from home. Um, yeah, and then all these walls would be closed. And then vanity area. Yeah. You can have a vanity And then you still have a big closet in there, too. Oh, my. This one's a walk-in, too. This would be Justin's little area. <laughs> and then this would be area. But then within my room, I have a kitchen. There's room for a fridge. Yeah. With the refrigerator. And then plenty of space for a bed and everything. I like how the shape is a little different, but my own private entrance to the room. Okay, now. Uh, uh, it's a two car garage. Oh, the light isn't. Then we have the time and the temperature and stuff. The garage is huge. I can't turn the light on, but oh, you can see it. <laughs> There's a two car garage. Yeah, that's really nice. So this bathroom, I was thinking would be the kids' actual bathroom because it's the only bathroom with a tub. Oh, I love how they did the black, um, black Finish. snickerdoodles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this room, um, I mean, my kids don't have to share a room, but like that big room down there, I don't know why I would give it to one of them and then make the other one be in the I mean, maybe like, this but is this also could just be an extra, like a guest room slash um, let my husband make it a little man cave area. Okay, tell me in the comments what you think if you would rent this house. I'm going to a wedding today. I'm actually kind of behind schedule as always, which is something that, I want to fix about myself. I refuse to show up to the actual wedding late, but I'm definitely behind schedule getting ready. But I thought 
I have a couple different options for dresses, so I just figured I might as well do it on camera. And I'm also gonna show you guys how I do my curly hair routine when I'm out of all of these products are at their last leg. They all have a drop in them, so I'm gonna mix them all together and then diffuse my curls. But these are my three faves right here. And I can, they, they all work good on their own or mixed together, so I'm just mixing together go through my dresses, pick out an outfit, match my husband's outfit to me, and then hurry up and go. What are you gonna do? It's over. The movie's over. Oh, the movie's over? Say hi. Hi, my, I don't wanna talk. You wanna talk? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first, one of the best inventions known I, to man. I I'm gonna link this in my description too. I'll put one of my Amazon links for this because if you don't have this and you have curly hair, what are you doing? And of course I got my wet brush. I linked this in a past video, but I'm gonna link this again. Then I just mix these three together. This right here, this lot of body, the yellow bottle, this is everything, you guys. Like, I could do a whole video just on this, but I'm all, I'm out, and I go through these so fast. But I'm gonna also link this in my um. Actually, I'm gonna link all three of these in my description. But if you have curly hair or your kids have curly hair, I really want you to try this one. Like, you got, you gotta listen to me, okay? I'm just gonna drag it through. And then I like to get my bangs really good so they're nice and defined. Well, I'm really, I'm excited about today. I haven't been to a wedding in a really, really long time. I actually got married in my backyard at this house. Um, and it was just like, we just, we did it so fast. Like we literally just threw that shit together in like, I don't know, a week. <laughs> because I got married in the, like in the middle of the pandemic basically. Um, and our option was either just wait and not get married basically. Like, like no one knew what was about to happen. We were all in lockdown. So it was either just go ahead, like go to the courthouse and then do something in the backyard or just not get married at that time at least. And because we didn't know like what the future held and we wanted to do it. Um, and I was pregnant at the time with baby number two. We just wanted to like do it, have it finalized. So I, we went to the courthouse, but then I did like a small ceremony with a preacher in my yard. Um, it actually came out kind of decent for being a backyard wedding that I planned in a week. Like, it was fairly decent, but one of my dreams is to have a wedding wedding, like a actual wedding. It's still, regardless of when I do it, where I do it, it I don't want a big wedding, but I do want to be on a beach. I want to have a dress. I want to have my walk down the aisle moment. Mama. Um, and then just like go have a party afterwards, but maybe like Mama, it's not 40 working. guests tops or less. Mama. Huh? I think I should watch something else because it's not working. Oh, your mommy's not working, baby? Yeah. No. Okay, hold on. Mommy's almost done with her hair. But yeah, and my, my original plan was to start planning one as soon as the lockdown ended and I just never got around to it because it's just like, so much that goes into it, so much stress. I'm not the best when it comes to party planning. Um, it kind of like stresses me out more than it's fun to me. So I think that's why I've just been putting it off. Ja, you have your feet all on me. Because and in the I, I wanna watch Hotel Transylvania. Hotel Transylvania? Yeah. Okay, I'll put that on for you. Um. But I'm really excited to be at somebody else's wedding that did all the planning and all I gotta do is show up and I get a plate of food and I get a piece of cake and I get to see my husband in an actual button down shirt. Okay, at the end I like to 
Missed it one more time. The main thing is you want your curls to have that perfect pattern while they're wet. So after you put your product, you can put a little bit more water so they like curl up super tight. And then that's the trick to getting them to dry right. Like it depends on how they look wet. Do you guys already know that? I don't know. Um, I have a feeling that this wedding is going to be more on the casual side, so I didn't want to do too much. First of all, I'm going to show you guys this dress my mom gave me. She doesn't remember what year it's from, but she was going to give it to the Goodwill. That's how I found it. I don't know if it's giving cute or giving like high school prom or something. I'm going to do a cool transition with these. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> I can't zip it all the way. We're almost there though. Um, I don't know. I thought this was kind of cute. And then I was thinking my husband could just wear like a red sweater. I don't, he doesn't have any red dress shirts. So the only reason I'm probably going to say no to this is because I don't like his shirt with this. Um, but, and the fact that I can't zip it up. This though, I got and I've never worn. And it's my favorite color. Okay, let's try this. Okay. It's just so Barbie pink, I love it. The back gives nothing, nothing at all. Not really anything, but the front, you can wear this shirt that I found. Um, I was just kinda like rushing around last minute. This is all I could find. Now, I know he's gonna hate this shirt. <laughs> I don't think this dress is doing too much for a wedding, is it? Let me know in the comments, maybe it's me. I don't know, I love the idea of us both being in pink. Okay, and then there's this. It's like a cute little simple black dress. Um, I actually wore this in a Get Ready With Me a few videos back, and I, I never went anywhere, I just stayed in the living room, so. I was thinking I could, it's just a little short, but in the Goodwill pile, my mom was throwing away with that red dress. She also was throwing away this jacket that I was thinking I could pair it with, but here, let me try it on. I love this dress. I've been wanting like, just like a long kind of vintage looking leather coat for so long. And she was gonna throw this out. Oh. Don't know though if it's like necessarily wedding appropriate. My husband has this shirt that I thought was cool. It has like um, this paisley print to it. I thought this was like cool vampire couple goes to wedding. When I think of this outfit, I don't think wedding. There's one more. This dress is a little different, but um, I love it because it doesn't show a lot. This is actually a dress that my mom bought and she got it at Target. So she got this dress at Target, but this, I guess this came from a line where they did a special collab with Target and this guy. I don't like pronounce stuff cause I just fuck it up. Okay, now she's different. She's very different. Very different from my norm. But I love how my body's hidden. I can eat as much as I want. I don't have to worry about anything slipping out, hanging out. I love the back of it too, how it kind of dips down a little bit. And then my husband, he just like a plain black shirt, right? With these golden black shoes that he has. Um, I'm leaning, I'm super leaning towards this dress. It's just so not my normal but I'm leaning towards it. If you hate this dress, you can roast me in the comments if you want, I understand. Is screaming at me because here, here, honey. Oh, 
Oh, you want the bread? No, she wants the water. No, she has she, to do everything that I do. Mama, she gets mad. Mama, she wants the phone. Here, you want me to spray her hair, Nana? She, she wants put the concealer all over her face. Okay. Now brush your. Cute. <laughs> you looking good, girl. As a husband, it's always your job to make sure your wife looks her best. You know what I mean? It's the small, the little things, man, you know? Like cleaning her ring, making sure she's shining. You know, she represents you. This was just last minute, a desperate attempt to throw it together. Decent. Am I good? No, yeah, yeah I'm it's good. giving. You look good. I feel like it's giving wedding. Definitely. Just um, we were almost there. Are you I, excited to be at a wedding? No. I'm excited to be here for you and mm -hmm. be your arm candy and mm -hmm. represent you and you know as your husband and mm -hmm. you know be your bodyguard and all the shit. Yeah. Why aren't you excited to be at a wedding though? I mean, I love seeing vows, seeing love. I love seeing the bride walk down the aisle. I haven't even thought about none of that shit. I don't think about that until I'm in that moment. Oh, until you're actually. Like, yeah, that's beautiful. You feel me? So uh, yeah, now that you say that, it is exciting to see witness love and you it know, is, yeah. people's unions and you know, know yeah. that other people are happy. And so yeah, that is exciting. Maybe I will. Be here I will have a drink and I will be dancing. So I'm definitely gonna have a drink. That. These shoes are killing me already. How'd you like the wedding? It was so beautiful. She, the bride looked amazing, like hair laid, makeup laid, dress gorgeous. Very inspiring. What'd you think? Very elegant and yeah, a Very beautiful, a beautiful display of love. Cause you want to get married on the beach, right? Yeah, I do. I do want to get married on the beach, and it is inspiring to like you know to have that official ceremony and yeah. for people to like witness our love and how much I love you it's like it's, it's like a a showcase of our love so like my opportunity to showcase how much I love you in my way like how I want the wedding to be or you know for me to do my part in the wedding I know you're going to do the planning and shit so it's like a, a chance to showcase the no, feeling we have between. that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want to do, like, I'm afraid of doing all the planning. Oh, uh, we can do it together then, so we both could, you know.
These shoes are killing my feet. I'm, I'm hot and my shoes are trying to murder me. It's okay. We're gonna keep it cute, keep it classy. And we're gonna make it to the car. We're gonna make you the whole reception and to the car. And no one's gonna know how pain, how much pain I'm in. Okay. I'll never wear this dress again, but I love the color. You know what I'm saying? Start the party out. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. I'm feeling great. I don't know how to get the kids tonight. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna take a bubble bath. With, and I'm gonna have some more wine. So, more wine, more fun. The sticker says Target. But the tag inside says um, Jean Paul Gaultier, 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 Jean Paul, Jean Paul Gaultier, Jean Paul Gaultier, Jean Paul Gaultier, Jean Paul, Jean Paul. Gaultier, Jean -Paul, Jean -Paul, Jean -Paul, Jean -Paul. <laughs>